6.30. Right now, I'm getting ready to head out on the lake. Do some fishing. See how we do. Alright, first fish. Not a big one, but I'll take him. Nice little guy. Going back. Fishing this these tall weeds and there's algae everywhere and uh throwing a weightless Cinco in about six feet of water i was going to come out here and do some uh square little fishing but the water's only 73 degrees we've had a cold front blow through it's fourth of july today and so far it's been nice weather but all this week we've had low to high 50s and we've been accustomed to 80s high 80s and it just dropped to the 50s and the water got over 16 degrees colder. It was 89 last weekend, so, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to slow down a bit. These fish are adapting and uh, hopefully we can catch some more out here. All right, so about five casts later, hook into another little fish. Uh, here we go. Another little guy. We need some bigger fish though. Same spot at that jet ski over there. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on fishing. Need to get a big one though. A nice three pounder or something. Hooked up here. Little guy. He's bigger than the other one at least. Ain't that big. But I did stick him. <clears throat> wow, he did get in there. Four feet out here. Under that red pontoon over there. If I can get this hook out. There we go. Little bass. Get back to you. Right? That's what we're talking about. Good 15 inch fish. I wish you could have saw, saw the fight. He brought me into the boat a good couple times, so that's a nice little fish. Let's get him back. Let's get another one just like that. Come on. There you go. Good fish. Another one. There's a big fish following him. I'll try to catch that. Alright, so I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a giant turtle sitting here. He's all right. He's a good size. Yeah, you can see that alright. Hopefully. And uh, I caught a little bass. A little 8 inch bass. And this guy decided to eat it crazy came by and he bit it took off my hook yeah i see you looking at me he just can't it, i had the fish fighting right around here and he reached over and grabbed it by the head and ripped my line that's a big old turtle there we go better fish another good one let me get that that's bigger than the last one I'll tell you that I switched up to a crankbait because now I'm fishing a flat. I was fishing docks with a Senko. That moved. And this guy is hooked firm. I only got one trouble, but he's in there. There we go. Fatty. Nice fish. Let's put him back. There he goes. Right off. About five casts later. This guy. Not a bad fish. I don't think he'd keep though. Double hooked him, he's good. He's in there. It's eight feet here. It was six foot where I caught him. But I've been going down a drop off. So I need to get back on the flat. 
There he is. Looks like he's full of food. I'm back. Alright, so here's another fish. Little guy. I haven't caught one in a while, but uh, you know, little guy. Off that seawall, fishing crankbaits right now and catching some fish, so I'm gonna get some bigger ones, hopefully. Alright, so I ditched the Senko, and ever since I did that, the bigger fish have come out to play. That's my third one. Third or fourth, I can't remember. Like this. Nice little bass. He's got a kind of crooked back. But, uh, yeah, these fish are feeding. This guy's actually, I just noticed his eyeball's all messed up. He's got a hole in his eye. But, um, hey, he's still out here. Yeah, he did get attacked by something. You can see there's a scar. He's got a scar. His eye's messed up. His back's crooked. Probably got attacked by a seagull. But, uh, yeah, let's let this guy go and catch some more.